As an Asian Canadian, there really weren't too many role models to identify with growing up. At least not on TV or in film. For better or worse, there were exceedingly few Asian actors on TV and film, and the person I chose to paint this time around was one of only a handful. As it happens, James Hong has come to play around 500 roles as an actor, producer, writer, director, and more over a 70-year career. And if you are someone who took in TV or film from the 50s on, chances are you've seen or heard his work at least once. He's been on Seinfeld, he's voiced dozens of characters from gaming and animation, he's been lots of dads, he's been the villain from Big Trouble in Little China. His voice is unmistakable, and I've really wanted to paint him for a while. So like I usually have done in the past, I started with pencil sketch and refined that over the space of about an hour. Next I used a thin wash of acrylic raw umber and opaque blue to establish some tonal values first of all and to seal down the pencil drawing. Next I worked in my basic skin tones and started to integrate a lot of the skin shadowing and trying to establish the overall form of his, of his face. I didn't want to stick too closely to the lighting situation in the original reference. At the end of the video, you'll find that the background is a lot lighter than the original reference, and that's just a personal uh, artistic choice. I did not want his hair to get lost in the background, so the focus in my piece will be a little bit more on him rather than uh, the background itself. I worked in basic coloring for the shirt, the jacket, and then I started balancing things out in the background um, and giving it a little bit of a vignette effect uh, just as far as shadows go. And then I started working on the details in the face. As it turns out, I would probably go back a little bit later and work out the forms and shapes of the face a little bit more. And here we have the second session. This was about a week after the initial session. And as you can see here, I'm actually correcting a lot about his face. That I'm not terribly happy with. I ended up painting over that one corner of his mouth and widening it out a little bit to his left, my right. I corrected a lot of the darker areas on the neck that were not translating very well, and then added some warmer shadows on the apples of his cheeks so that we could get a bit more hint of liveliness as well as a bit more sense of the form. There were some corrections done to his eye sockets. And then I also worked on making his silhouette a little bit more effective and then I jumped back into the shirt and the jacket. I took the opportunity to darken the background quite a bit, but at the same time I chose to avoid making the background completely dark. Getting a bit of balance in the piece allowed me to get back into the face and, and be a little bit more attentive to the finer details. Catching the light right, particularly in the eyes, as well as making the hair look a little bit more naturalistic was something that I spent a lot of time on.
and carrying through a lot of the balance and the, and the subtle color change into the rest of the piece was also quite important to me at the time. Here you can see I'm working in some of the buttons and working on the silhouette in the shoulder. But basically that's as far as it took me, or as far as I took myself, for the space and time of the second week session uh, for this painting. So here is a pretty close-up shot of the work, just getting you into the eyes and the skin and the hair. You can certainly tell that the overall form and shape are there. Um, it's not something that's intended to be photorealistic. Uh, and to be honest, I kind of feel like he looks a little like Ronald Reagan with that hair, but overall I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Anyhow, thank you very much for following along. I can be reached at my website at florencechan.ca, on Instagram as florencechan.ca, like just all spelled out. I'm also on Twitter as Florence A. Chan. I'll catch you later. If you liked what you saw, please do hit subscribe and click the like button. And um, if you have any feedback, do let me know and uh, I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.